Hey, Chet students and parents. Understanding difficult cultural issues in light of the gospel can be really tricky. And our parent conversation nights are designed to help you as parents engage your student in a discussion that's centered on both biblical truths that intersect sometimes difficult and sensitive topics. And this specific conversation night that's coming up this Wednesday at 6.30 is going to focus on understanding gender. It's going to help us break down stereotypes that are both inside and outside the church, and even how to talk about the often scary topics within the church like same-sex attraction and gender identity. Our hope is that both parents and students would be able to engage in a conversation that will help them be Jesus to a world that's really rocked by cultural confusion. We want to invite all Chet students' parents and their high schooler or middle schooler to this night of learning and discussion. I want to share with you an important insight about the conversation night, though. It's not about an agenda. It's about opening up the door to a conversation. You see, it's not really about an argument. It's about learning how as a church and as believers in Christ that we can gracefully love and build relationships that help walk with those questioning gender issues. And just so you know, it's not even about dealing whether or not you have a child that's wrestling with this idea. It's for all students and all parents because the odds are that in this society, every student knows someone who's walking through this reality. The problem is that the church hasn't always responded in the most loving and healthy way. And we even struggle with how do we even talk about it. That's what this Wednesday night's combo night is all about. Opening the door to building relationships and having an open dialogue. We want all students to come with a parent. Otherwise, we're kind of defeating the purpose of having a parent-student conversation night. So parents, bring your student. Students, invite your parents and bring them. But just a heads up, if you're a parent of a middle school student, they have to have a parent there. This can be some pretty confusing stuff, and we want to make sure that all 6th through 8th grade students have a parent to discuss and debrief what's covered. And so if a middle schooler comes without a parent, we're just going to gracefully send them to the main worship service. Now, for some of you parents of middle school students, you may feel like that your student isn't ready for this conversation yet. And we totally get that. And so they're welcome to join you in the main worship service as we won't be doing an alternative refuel night this week. And so we sincerely hope that this night will be beneficial to both you and your student and that it opens up a new dialogue to help you build your relationship together. We'll see you Wednesday.